thank you very much for this, this marvelous uh, uh, sharing that you achieved with, with, with your research. Surely, uh, also, you, you, you may have found that some of us are quite, quite uh, interested in it, that the United States of America uh, had its first day following the New Hampshire uh, Rapid <laughs> 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 a little church in Concord, New Hampshire. But I, what my question is, uh, why were there nine people who required, nine states required, uh, rather yes. than a simple majority? Thank you for that. I realized toward the end of the speech, oh, what he's asked is why nine states had to ratify before the Constitution went into effect. This was actually one of the other controversial decisions of the Federal Convention. Uh, they, it, it's in the body of the Constitution itself that the document would go into effect after nine states had ratified. You needed unanimous consent uh, for amendments to the Articles of Confederation. And uh, of course, it would only go into effect over those nine states. Uh, but, but well, I think nine nine it seemed to what is it three quarters more or less, not quite. Uh, why did they use nine rather than ten or eight? I can't say. I think the point was that it was not unanimous. I think they thought they could get nine, uh, but it was. <laughs> It was touch and go. But I ask you, even after the, after, you're quite correct that New Hampshire was the ninth. Uh, and it ratified in June 1788 uh, while the Virginia Convention was meeting. In fact, Virginia voted to ratify without knowing that New Hampshire had already ratified. So Virginia thought it was the ninth. In fact, it was the tenth. But then there was New York. But look, these, can you imagine? what this looked like in the beginning. You're right to ask why nine states, supposing it's 1787, September 1787, and you've just seen this rather peculiar number thrown out. Were the United States to become the disunited states? If four states did not ratify, then we would be a country of nine states and what, four other independent nations scattered along the coast, the Atlantic coast? And I ask you, this is not an impossible, it was not an, an impossible you know, situation. If Rhode Island didn't ratify, who cares? <laughs> right? <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> Look, I have a house, I have a house in Rhode Island. But, you know, they got pretty angry. Rhode Island had to be forced in. They could have sent the army in and divided between Massachusetts and Connecticut, and you know, it would have solved the problem. But if New York didn't ratify, if Virginia didn't ratify, if North Carolina didn't ratify, uh, okay, there you've got four states. And, <laughs> But suppose those four states had stayed out. Remember that, that uh, Virginia and North Carolina went all the way to the Mississippi at this point. They included what became Tennessee and Kentucky as well as West Virginia. This would have been a weird looking country. Uh, it would have been the disjointed sna snake. Was it viable? Uh, I suppose the, the answer also was that they thought if nine states came in, there'd be more pressure on the others to come in. But boy, it was a very dangerous gamble, very dangerous. The whole independence movement had worked carefully, as John Adams said, so all the bells of revolution would ring at once. We'd won the revolution with our arms linked. Why were we giving up? I mean, it was very controversial. Scott. In what state 